Hello everybody, welcome to day three of Help Will Come Tomorrow. If you're not familiar with this series, we're trying to keep the four people you can see behind my head here alive after a terrorist attack on their train in 1917 in Siberia. These people are politically at different ends of the spectrum and socially at different ends of the spectrum, and they all have to work together and survive until help comes. We've kept them alive for two days so far, but uh, hunger is starting to set in. Camp morale is starting to fall down. We're down to 35% at camp morale. So we're going to have to take some steps to do that. And uh, let's dig in and get started in day three. So first up, let's summarize where we are. We've got uh, Maria here. Her health is 86. Her morale has dropped to 73. Uh, no big problem. She's very hungry and somewhat thirsty. So we have to take care of that. We have uh, Zofia, who despite her age is both observant and honest and seems to have some really good traits for helping us out. Health of 86, morale of 76, really hungry, really thirsty, and is tired already, even though she's just woken up. And Sir Edward Gray, health of 88, morale of 57, hungry and thirsty, but probably in the best shape of anybody. He is brave and an adventurer and all those kinds of things. So we are once again, once again going to send him out to scavenge, scavenge for resources. Grigory, Grigory Dmitrovich here is health is 98, best health of all, morale of 87, very hungry, very and thirsty, cold and tired already as well. So our plan I think today is going to be pretty much kind of the same as yesterday. We need stuff to build stuff, really need to find clay to get our pot going. But let's uh, jump in here and first of all we're going to uh, make some water to get started because everybody's thirsty. So we're going to take care of that, do a few things around the camp here. And then we're going to head out. So we want to filter water. Let's get Maria up here to do that. Hopefully this goes well. Gosh, she's tired from the littlest things. Okay, so that should give us some water here. How many do we get? We got three. Okay, that's good. And let's do that again because everybody's thirsty. So we're going to filter water twice today. Let's have uh, Grigori here to try that again. And filter. There we go. Perfect. So we now have six waters, which is very good. And this is full. I don't know if, oh, it looks like you can have a cup. No, I don't know if you can. I don't know if that is all you can have space for, but let's distribute the water that we have here first. Water going all around. Good. So Maria is no longer thirsty. Sir Edward Gray is no longer thirsty. Grigori is no longer thirsty. And Zofia is no longer thirsty. Now let's give out just a little bit of this stuff in case we can't have extra rows. Actually, we probably should test it, but let's give the berries out here. Let's go to Grigori, who was very hungry. He's no longer very hungry. And Maria, she's no longer very hungry. That at least creates one space here. And uh, how about some bugs too? Let's see if we can do that. Yuck. Yeah, I know. Suck it up, people. There you go. Awful, but what can a man do? I know, I know. Yeah, Bugs actually don't seem to be doing that much, creating problems anyway. I don't know if it's good for morale, but let's just give them all out. Well, we, we can use them for bait too, so maybe we should hang on. Okay, nice big of berries and bugs for breakfast. And now let's get started here a little bit. I think there's one thing I want to do, but I think we can do that at the end. Um, we want to try to build something. Let's send them out now, kind of into the wild to, to look for some stuff. So here's our expedition. I want to try to find clay and perhaps more berries. So I think we're going to send the first group maybe in a circle like this to the northeast and then circling back. These look easy, average. There's some berries there. So off we go. And let's get up here. Send expedition. Let's have... Uh, let's start with Maria and Grigori to go off first. They have nothing they can take with them. And let's go. Let's go where the bunny is first. Imagine... Oh! We got an event here. What a surprise. You see a strange animal resembling a deer or a small doe at the nearby grove. It has no antlers and its protruding ears bring a hare to mind more than a proud deer. It must be a Siberian musk deer, a timid creature often hunted for its fragrant secretions. Well, right now you're more interested in its meat and fur. Let's uh, move away silently so as to not scare it because I don't think we're going to be able to catch it. This time you decide to back out with disturb without disturbing the game. You're hoping that the musk deer will stay in this area. You may be better prepared for the next meeting. Yeah, we don't have anything to kill it with or anything. So let us search here. All right, what do we get? Feathers, bark, mushrooms, more bugs, great, and needles. 
not very productive there. We're done here. It's our loss percentage, 16%. We are going, should we go to the risky area? No, let's go to the easy area. Okay. Oh, we got more areas up here too. <gasps> nice, okay, let's search. Hopefully we don't get lost. Took an action point, branch, sticks, bark, and edible root. That's it. A disappointing venture so far for our heroes. Lost probability is 12%, zero to one action point. We are going to push it here though. Let's go up here to this easy area. That was their last action point. Hmm, okay, let's search though. Searching, what did we get? Anything good? Oh, what's this? Garlic, excellent food, vegetable, herb, nice. I wonder if you can grow stuff here in this game. A cut stone, perfect. Broken stones have a sharp edge, useful creating for creating some tools. If we had a workbench, we could do that. So we very much need clay. Lost probability. Now, I don't know what that means here. Zero to one, that means how many action points, but we're out of action points. I think maybe we return to camp, huh? Let's return to camp. Well, we got some stuff. I guess that's pretty good, but I was hoping for more. Let's go back to the camp. Let's send our second group up. Let's send, I'm gonna send, oops, back here. Get out of this. Expedition, let's send another one out. Sir Edward Gray and Zofia. I'd like them to come back with some action points because I wanna have some people uh, fraternize maybe at the fire. That would supposedly brings up the morale. And by the way, um, Dragons Ate Our Name, who has a great series on this. I mentioned that in the first episode. We've been communicating a little bit and bouncing ideas off each other. And she gave me a tip to have people uh, go to the fire and fraternize. And apparently that raises their morale because morale can be a big issue in this game. When your morale drops, you really run into trouble. And one of the things we were both talking about is that I don't think either one of us are off looking on the internet for tips or walkthroughs and stuff like that. So I'm not really interested in getting the answers and beating the game so much as learning to play the game and see what kinds of stories it generates here. So berries, oh, stones. Okay, let's see what we can find here. Loss probability, very small. Anything good? Root, cones, rocks, poisonous mushrooms, and moss. We've seen all this stuff before. We really need clay. Let's go here. It's risky, but we're gonna take the chances. We haven't found any berries yet today. Anything good? Minus one, okay. eight berries, and some cones. Hmm, okay, they have two points left, and I still was hoping to do things. Let's maybe get zero to zero here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, but good, they didn't burn an action point. Good. Search. No action points used up. And seven berries and a bone. Structure, sharp, good. But we still haven't found clay or material that we need. So from that perspective, let's return to camp. Got a lot of berries to take care of hunger, but I feel like we're kind of spinning our wheels here. That's not all that helpful, is it? So we have two people with action points. Let me think for a second what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to come back and commit those last two points. I don't know if we want to do conversation or if we can make something or whatever. I'll be back momentarily. All righty. I think I know a couple things we can do here. The first thing I want to try to do is to come in here. And if we put as an action, we can repair the fire, which uh, the first time I tried just the one day playthrough, I was able to upgrade the fire. So let's see if that will work. We're gonna put Zofia here and we're gonna try to, we put some wood on there and some structure. We'll use some of our stones. We have a lot of stones here, so that's pretty good. And it takes one action point and we're going to try to repair the fire. And that increases the quality of fire to 72%, which I think might be a good thing. So that I think is a good use of our points. But up here we can also Oh, I don't think we can make, a, oh, we needed more, we need three action points for one person. Yeah, we can't build a fence. So that leaves one more action point here. And I don't think there's anything else we can do with it, really. It takes three to do all these things. That's not going to be helpful. Oh, we could upgrade this maybe. Components already been built, okay. How about actions, repair, it's 50%. I think we can do that. Let's try that. We'll put some rocks in there, we'll put some wood in there, and then we'll put uh, Sir Edward Gray 
and we'll try to repair that. And that increases the quality to 75%. I have no idea whether that's a good thing to do, but we really didn't have much else we could have done except talk at the fire a little bit. And I think we're going to do maybe try to get that in tomorrow. So we have some things, however, to take care of. Zofia is super tired, so let's send... Actually, let's feed everybody first here. We got berries all around, right? Um, where'd they go? One, two... Oh, good. So you can have more things. So let's eat the berries. Zofia is no longer hungry. Sir Edward Gray is... That's something. He's no longer hungry. And Grigori's no longer hungry, and she's no hungry, and we've got 10 berries left over. So that's pretty good, as well as garlic. I feel like if we could get some weapons and stuff, but we really got to start making structures, huh? Okay, first up, so that's all of that. Let's send um, Zofia over here to rest, because she is the most tired. So she's resting, that should help with that. And other than that, we want to chuck some stuff on the fire here, right, to make it a little bit warmer. Let's throw some pine needles on there, 15%. Good, I think because it's a better fire, too, it helps keep the visibility down. Oop, that's probably as high as we want to go. Okay, that's probably pretty good. So everything's taken care of. I don't think there's any way we really can make him warmer. And I think... That's all we've got for the end of day two. Let's go to nighttime. I feel like that wasn't as productive as yesterday. We really didn't get the. Uh oh. Grigori is fidgeting on his seat, clearly excited. What, comrade, would you like a drink? You start. The man takes off his cap and pulls out a mysterious bundle from it. I would drink, wouldn't I? But a reasonable feller, fellow knows three rules when to limit vodka on St. Bartholomew, during a blizzard, and Gregory Gregory throws the bundle into the fire. And when he is something better than vodka, ha! Acrid smoke hits your nostrils. What is going on here? This is crazy. Irritated by frost and is immediately followed by bliss. What behavior is this? What are you poisoning us with, Comrade Dmitrovich? Is it some rape or hashish? Is that important? Grisha laughs, and his voice slowly turns into the clatter of a stork. <laughs> he got us all high. Unexpectedly, it turns out that you are sitting on a saucer around a big cup filled with coffee instead of the cold taiga. A huge hand with a beautiful signet ring chases you away like flies. It is Tsar Nicholas himself who is reaching for the hot drink. Grigory Dmitrievich, you will be awarded the St. George's Second Class Order in ten years of Siberia for this stunt, the Tsar thunders, and Grisha just clatters in response. Etheromania. What is this going? on here okay i have no idea what just happened but i imagine it's going to be their crash and slaughter imperial taste let's seek a better shelter let's await for the patrol hmm. let's do crash and slaughter and see what happens with this we were saved from the disaster and avoided the slaughter it's unthinkable do you know if anyone else has survived the attackers had dynamite and used it only to derail the train but also blew up the car in which I saw people under arms. They've planned it well, Mother Blank. I swear, as the really dead. Yeah. Then they shot the survivors like animals. If someone had survived, they probably holed up in the woods as did we, as we did. We must stay together until help arrives. That's kind of obvious. We're in the middle of the Siberian taiga, without appropriate clothes and food, surrounded by thugs going after us. How much longer can we survive in such conditions? One, two days at the most. That's bright and optimistic. In that case, let's hope that help will come tomorrow. Game of game, of game name of game. Camp morale went up. Excellent. Something to cheer up. Let's do that. Maybe you will take a warm up with us, milady. I have some vodka at the bottom. Oh, more vodka. He just keeps pulling vodka out of his coat. No, thank you. I avoid strong alcohol, but feel free, Grigory Dmitrievich. Is he going to get drunk again? Mrs. Butinieva, I insist you take a sip. We can leave taking care of customs and conventions for the moment when we return to Petrograd. It's nice to hear that you'll believe we'll be back. I really have to work on my voice transitions. Not good at that at all. Well, if we are to die here, then I see no reason for abstinence. And you only talk about alcohol. If you want to cheer us up, maybe you'll sing something. I'm not going to sing. 
There you go, dear lady. On the wild steppes of Transbalika, where cold can kill you really quick, a vagrant is traveling alone, and from his pants peeks his huge... <laughs> Mr. Dimitrovich, that song had different words. She likes the song, though. He flounders through his thick taiga. His foot is strapped in single sock. What is he singing about? This guy is out here. He's throwing drugs in the fire. Maybe I will drink after all. That's a good idea instead of listening to this guy's song. Plus 15. They, they, they kind of like it. Camp morale went way up here, huh? That's actually pretty good. So we had some luck, I think, with the conversations. Maria does not like Grigori. There, Sophia and Grigori are getting along here. Sir Edward Grey does not like Grigori. And Sophia does not like Grigori anymore either. And morale went down a little bit. So, but check it out. All right. Nice. They all passed their morale test, probably because they had such good conversations around the campfire. Maybe thanks to Grigori's little song and dance there and the drugs that he threw in the fire. Oh, yeah. Check it out here. They all have three action points, but right here, hallucinating. <laughs> Every single one of them is going to be hallucinating. And it says, a, halluc a hallucinating character has good chance of failing any action, but in return increases their morale. <laughs> when fails, character destroys half of resources. Oh, really? So they have no morale problems. They're going to try lots of stuff. We're going to just burn through resources. So probably tomorrow is not a building day. It's going to be another scavenging day. We really got to start building stru structures, though. I am not sure that throwing all the hallucinogenic drugs onto the fire was our best thing to have happen here. Our whole party is high as a kite <laughs> as we head into day four. Oh my goodness. So Maria is super hungry. She's thirsty and she's high. Grigori's super hungry, high, tired, thirsty, and cold. Sir Edward Gregory, Sir Edward Gray is hungry, thirsty, and high. So is Sophia. Well, we'll head into day four. That brings us to the end of day three here. Thanks, Grigori, for getting us all drugged to the moon here. We'll see how day four goes, but I feel like that was a rather unfortunate twist of events there, despite the fact that it did bring our morale up and give us lots of energy. So we basically, we've got tons of energy today. But we're going to screw everything up and break all the stuff that we try to use. <laughs> Wonderful. We'll see you all later on the next episode. These come out on Mondays and Fridays. If you have ideas, thoughts on what we can do without any spoilers and giving things away, if you've played the game before, please let it, feel free to let us know. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. We will be back again Monday with episode four of Help Will Come Tomorrow. Thanks so much, everybody, for stopping in. Take care.